Well, lots of us are excited about the ability of these large language models like ChatGPT to not just use historical data, but actually pull live information from the web. Well, just as we're getting excited about that and we're seeing these features roll out, the door's getting shut. And these websites are starting to block the crawlers from large language models like ChatGPT and Claude and Bard from accessing their website. Why in the world would a website do that? Well, that's what we're going to discuss here in a little bit. Hi, I'm Prophecy. I talk about generative AI and its impact on education, business, jobs, and society. And today I want to talk about why systems are blocking these crawlers from the large language models like ChatGPT, and maybe why you might want to also start to block uh, these systems from craw crawling your information or your blog on the internet. Okay, let's think about this. Why in the world would I want to have Google crawl my website? Well, there's lots of reasons why I want Google, a search engine, to crawl my website. I want it to put me in the top of the search results. I want to get on that Google first page because what happens then? Well, people get a snippet of what's on my blog or that particular resource that I posted on my website, but when they click on it, it goes directly to my site, right? And so then I get more traffic, I can advertise things, I can do whatever I want once those folks are on my website. Okay, so it drives traffic, and that's why I want those things to crawl my website. What happens if ChatGPT crawls my fantastic article that I've written and posted to my blog or posted to Substack or posted to Medium? Well, what's going to happen is that they're going to just take that content and use it to inform the user directly without ever having them hit my website. Okay, So that's one of the first reasons that I might not want to have um, these large language models coming out and hitting my website. In fact, some people are predicting that of the top 1,000 websites, 85% of those are going to start blocking these large language models from crawling them. Why? Because they are publishers. They are places that are shops that want to get people to come and research products on their site, not on Google's Bard or ChatGPT or Claude. There's some other concerns as well. Some of them relate to copyright issues. I can actually ask ChatGPT or any of these other LLMs, hey, write this essay or write this YouTube script in the style of Casey Neistat or in the style of um, Jon Stewart, okay? Because it ha knows what that style is because it's gone through the transcripts, okay? Uh, other book authors, I can also say, write this as though I was Amy Webb, a futurist, okay? Well, what would she say about this? Well, it's been trained on her books, and, uh, you know, Amy's not getting any particular benefit from that. And so that's why a lot of these top sites, a lot of folks are trying to block these things from crawling their data. The other thing is brand control. Okay, I might want to, if I have my brand, the Prophecy brand, uh, I want to have control over how that's used, how it's presented. Okay, when you ask, uh, well, actually, if you ask ChatGPT about uh, my name, there's some other guy that's more famous, and, uh, you know, you won't uh, get information about me. But let's uh, pick on that guy that's more famous, that other J. Scott Christensen, who's a lawyer out in California and writes, uh, apparently, murder mystery books. Well, he wants to have control over his name. He doesn't want it to present him in a bad light or with incorrect or hallucinations attached to that description. Okay, so there's lots of reasons that you might want to have some control over how the information about you or your product is presented. Also, think about it from a competitive advantage standpoint. Do I want all the information on my company website to be part of some in-depth analysis by an LLM as to what my deficits are or how people can compete against me or how their product ranks up against me? I'm not going to want it to be easy for them to do that kind of work, okay? They're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. They're going to have to do it by having a human look at that. That's why I might want to block 
there's also this idea of trade secrets. So there could be trade secrets that are on my website, but they're not like all in one area that says trade secrets. Basically, by patching together, especially when an extensive website, little bits of information, you might be able to figure out how a company does certain work. Okay, so that's just an important thing to consider is that um, there may be information that we do not want to have synthesized or analyzed and put into an easy form for others to look at that we may have dispersed throughout a large enterprise's website. There's also some minor concerns, server load and bandwidth. Do I really want these things you know, crawling through my website and downloading everything every so many hours or whatever they're going to do? Uh, probably not. That's probably a minor concern uh, in the scale of things. Now, what are some of the solutions to this? One is to modify the way robots.txt works. Um, this is what prevents crawlers from accessing your website, and you do have some granularity on this. Um, I will link to a um, series of white papers that uh, Google has put out about how that particular file could be modified, because maybe you want some generative AI to come in or limit it to certain areas of your website, so forth and so on. Okay, Maybe opt-in systems, where I do something that... Um, by default, all language models are prevented from crawling the web. Maybe that's something that might be done in regulation by the EU or by uh, the U.S. But maybe what I could do instead is say, oh, well, I'll allow my site to be crawled by this particular LLM. And maybe I get a little bit of a subscription fee or something like that, a little kickback for letting it use my content when it responds to queries. Well, what do you think? Do you think that you would like to have your content incorporated into LLM, uh, especially without credit? Um, I don't think I do. I, I share my stuff very freely using Creative Commons, um, so I don't mind that people get access to it, but I also want attribution. Okay, so I want some attribution that, hey, Scott was the dude who figured this out the first time. And uh, that's what I put on my website. But when my website is crawled and that information is incorporated into a response, well, that information, at least currently, is not there or is not always there. So I want to have some control. That's why I use Creative Commons licensing. So what do you think? Do you want these large language models crawling your website? Um, would you be proud to have your knowledge incorporated into the corpus of uh, the knowledge body of these particular machines? Let me know what you think in the comments, and thank you so much for watching this video.